Ethiopia is one of the countries vulnerable to climate change. As uh, you might have heard, by now, more than 10 million people are affected by El Nino. So we are suffering from the impacts. During the, the climate summit in New York in 2014, the country committed itself to managing 15 million hectares of degraded land to be rehabilitated by 2025. We undertook a critical assessment of landscape rehabilitation efforts. We synthesized and identified effective practices that should be scaled out to assist the government achieve its goal. But as we do so, we also identified challenges. There are major uh, findings from these studies that, will, that we should consider in our legal frameworks, in our acts, in our regulations. One has to do with a lack, it's not a lack, but inadequacy of economic returns out of these rehabilitation efforts. But few years down the line, the communists are not getting the expected economic returns out of this one. If the community is not, not benefiting from uh, the interventions, these interventions cannot sustain. The second challenge we are facing is ownership issue. Tenure use and ownership rights are really still poorly defined. So far we don't have uh, a certification uh, system to communal ownership. We identified that gap. What we did was by trying to review what are really the policies in China as compared to Ethiopia. Uh, it's, it's clear that uh, the monitoring uh, systems we have so far uh, is really very poor. Uh, we need to strengthen that one and probably we may uh, establish kind of collaboration to listen from the Chinese practice. My vision is to increase the uh, forest cover of the country and to make sure that the community is benefiting and to make uh, to see that uh, huge investment, rehabilitation of the land is not a choice for Ethiopia. It's, it's a matter of life and death.